Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nick and today I want to share an article with you from naturalsociety.com called Four Ways You Can Protect Your Liver From Prescription Drug and Damage. That's coming up! Alright everyone, so this channel is all about how to become a high performer in your professional life, whether that be work or school, and some of that involves taking supplements and cognitive enhancing over-the-counter or non-regulated drugs, depending on what area of the world you live in, called nootropics or cognitive enhancing supplements. Now, whenever you're taking any kind of massive amounts of supplements or nootropics, it's really a great idea to have a good relationship with your physician just to get all your blood levels checked every once in a while. I definitely do that with mine. She's aware of everything I'm taking, and so I yeah, get my liver and kidneys checked every month just to make sure that I'm not doing anything crazy to my organs uh, with all the nootropics and supplements I'm taking to improve my own life and also to share stories with you guys. So I actually came across this article uh, and I thought it was really interesting. I was like, wow, this would be a great video to make uh, because I really want to start bringing more of the safety side to things as well. I'm not just like every week being like, hey, I got a new nootropic, guys. I got a new supplement for you to take. What's going on? Let's talk about it. So the article here is called Four Ways to Protect the Liver from Prescription Drug Damage. And the first method involves milk thistle. Yeah, so it's like another supplement to take to protect your liver from other drugs or slash supplements. The word drug, right, is referred to something prescription only, over the counter. I use the word drug pretty loosely, kind of like an umbrella category to put bulk a bunch of different things into, including nootropics. One of the ways in which milk thistle protects liver cells is by preventing a reduction in the concentration of glutathione in the body. Glutathione, of course, is one of the things responsible in the body to assist with detoxing. Number two, they have an acetyl cysteine. I actually use this a lot in combination with something called alpha lipoic acid. Uh, both of these are actually glutathione precursors, and so I'll pulse them, right? So I'll take them for like a week or two, and then I'll kick off for like a month, and then take them again for like a week or two. And I definitely notice uh, through bowel movements that uh, the detox is definitely working when I take those supplements. And actually, I started taking those uh, in 2008 or 9, uh, probably a year after I got Lyme, yeah. So 2009, when one of, my, one of my physicians was like, you should take detox stuff as well. Uh, and I was detoxing from Lyme disease, which is one of the ways I got into this stuff, and cognitive performance and becoming a high performer in work or school. And so I've been taking N-acetylcysteine and actually alpha lipoic acid for quite a while. Number three, what do you know? It's actually alpha lipoic acid. Sometimes called a miracle nutrient, alpha lipoic acid, or as they say, ALA, is a powerful antioxidant that boosts the immune system, and ooh, this is interesting, slows the progression of Alzheimer's and supports a healthy liver. Actually, I think it's kind of cool because a lot of these supplements and nootropics we talk about on this channel, uh, there is some research that there, that it's, let's say I'm not a physician, I don't want to make any kind of medical claims. I have read, right, uh, that a lot of the nootropics, a lot of the things that nootropics that people take or supplements people take uh, confined to cognitive enhancement do actually have some kind of positive effect on different diseases like Alzheimer's. But again, not a physician, so just really sharing with y'all what I've read. Number four is fiber. Fiber definitely helps with the detox as well. So it's actually pretty cool. Like all these ways to help protect the liver, also assist your body in detoxing. Pretty cool. Love this article. Definitely wanted to kind of share it with y'all through the form of making a video. I actually have a blog or anything, and I wonder if I should actually, I don't want to post a blog. I don't know, what do y'all think? You like the video method? Would y'all read a blog article for me if I posted one like once a week and I do these YouTube videos twice a week? It's actually pretty funny, because when I started out, I was like, I'm gonna do a video every day. I did that for 30 days. And then I cut down to three times a week. I did that for a year, or a little over a year. And now I'm doing two times a week, because I think I'm probably gonna get ready for a big move here coming up. That's it for now, guys. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more nootropic videos, videos about cognitive enhancement, becoming high performing in your professional life, etc. And take care. Bye.